most of these small hand radios you get now, the Baofengs, the Quanshang radios, um, they come with a screen that's really reflective. You can see the lights and the reflections there bouncing around. It doesn't take much to uh, catch an odd light and it sort of blinds you, makes you where you can't see the screen very well at all. Um, they really, no one hardly makes any decent screen protectors for these things that aren't fairly expensive or having to order a lot at a time. Um, what I like to do with these and some of my other electronic equipment, I'll buy uh, like a larger anti-reflective screen saver and I'll cut them into pieces for the smaller sizes here. You can buy something like these large uh, Super Shield brand protectors. They're made for uh, iPads, that sort of thing. You end up with three big sheets of uh, anti-reflective uh, screen protector material, and you can just cut those down, and just one sheet will cover you know, five or six, at least, radios with it, and uh, you'll still have a couple other sheets over if you scratch them up over time, or they peel off, or anything like that. It, just for what you get for the money, it's just hard to beat buying these type of things and just cutting them down yourself and it's not much to it um, just take this radio here the Quan Chang K6 if you get it just take a measurement of it this just happens to be what I have on hand just looking at about 30 and a half millimeters yeah, about around 20 five millimeters by 35 millimeters. So if you just take one of these sheets here, cut it down, and they, some of these screen protector kits with like the older iPads, that type of thing, you can buy them so much cheaper because they're on a, made to fit an older screen size. So you can get, you know, a whole big pack like this for five to seven dollars for them and it comes with the cleaning wipes the uh, the stickers that help hold it in place when you put it on and also has uh, uh, some of the things that'll pull some of the lint off of the screens with them but all you really need to do once you got that measurement just pull one of these out of the pack usually just get the material lay it on top and mark the edges just depends on how precise you want to be with it but you can take this sheet that I've already used before here to cut down just mark somewhere near the corners I usually just cut inside of that slightly Make sure it doesn't hang over the edge. These screens tend to, to bevel in a little bit, so you sort of have to cut inside of that to make things work. If you've got a cutting board with a good razor that you can lay it on, um, cut it out with, that usually works the best, but this is just a simplified look at um, what can be done here. Hold it up and take a little bit of a look. Cut sort of in a bit. But if you got the time to take your time to uh, cut it down, it makes a big difference. Take one of these alcohol pads, rub this down. Use a little uh, lens blower to dry it off a little bit faster. Don't let it dry off all the way. It 
ends up having little weird bubbles under it. But with these things, it's just a matter of finding the right side to peel. There's two pieces on here. The clear part, usually you take off second on the top, and the other side that you peel off will be the side that you stick down with it. And got it backwards. But if you take your time, use a razor, make sure you cut it a lot better than I did. Sort of hard to see and film at the same time, but I'll give you an idea here. Now when you turn it on, you don't get nearly the reflections that you get. And I've got a lot of lights in here right now on it, and uh, it makes a big difference at side angles and really bright sunlight when the sunshine hits it. it this anti-glare material on it. It'll help out a lot with it. And then it protects your screen. You've got, uh, you know, these radios. Some of the older ones that I don't use for uh, filming tend to get thrown around a lot, and I lay them on the ground. And they sometimes they come unclipped from a belt and fall on the ground. And these screen protectors like that, it'll keep from getting that screen all messed up and scratched really quickly, which makes it even harder to see. And if you scratch this up, you can just peel it off and get a cut another piece of it and stick it back on right quick and you're good to go. Um, but it makes a world of difference out in the bright sun. These you know, screens are so slick that it, the least little bit of glare on it uh, makes it super hard to read. So that's something you can do with these big sheets of uh, this super shield material. It's that anti-glare. You've got three big full-size uh, sheets that you can cut down and probably really use you know each sheet will probably do 20 radios with it so it's a lot more cost effective than just buying the little screen protectors when you can find them and if you can find them for your particular radio the sizes are sort of hard to match up so just something to think about and uh, if you like this video if it helped you at all please uh, like and subscribe thanks for watching